It's December 17th, and tonight, tonight, this morning outside of the first truly white December day on the edge of Christmas going on here. And today we got ourselves another digital day. Today's 17th, like I just said, the day of winter sweater. Oh, wait a second. Is this, this is a zip file. Let's uh, open up. Okay, this is looking an awful lot like, oh yeah, level X. This is a Smebex. Okay, I wasn't quite ready for that. Like, I wasn't sure. Like, remember, like, whenever I open these, you know, I just open these, like, real quick, see what's there. I saw there was a zip file. I kind of didn't really think about it. And now here I am, and I'm all like, oh, okay, yeah. So, okay, so it's a Smebex. I am not currently set up with playing it, so I'll do... So you know what? We'll just go ahead and uh, do the ambush, and then I can do... I'll load it up into Smebex, and then we can do Smebex things. That makes a lot of sense. So in terms of Steam ambushes, pre-ambush today, I guess, uh, you can see the scroll bar here. I think that today I'm not going to do a trailer view. Like, like I still feel like I need to manage my voice a little bit. I don't know how long this is going to take at all. So, yeah, we're just, we're, we, we are doing a bit more of an abridged version. Like I, This just sounds so bad, doesn't it? Like, it sounds like, like it's not a full thing. Like, I don't put any worth to it, but it's not true. It's just, I'm just trying to be realistic. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, and I'm just talking here. Maybe I should st I shouldn't stop talking, but maybe about Rao Cow. I would send it to you every orange juice game on Steam. Perhaps you could do an all the OJ's LP. If you like Toho, you'll probably like Orange Juice. Best wishes, Flubman. So I knew there was a board game about Orange Juice 100 percent Oh, and I guess that's what this is. But I wasn't aware it was a multi-game empire, though. Like I got one of them before. Yeah, 100% Orange Juice is a digital multiplayer board game populated by developer Orange Juice's all-star cast. Characters from Flying Red Barrel, QP Shooting, Suguri, and Sora come together with all new characters to duke it out with dice. Okay, so 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 this thing is the Smash Brothers of this company, except it's in a board game. So see, I don't think I knew that. All right, Flub Man is going to lead me into a day of total exploration here. The only Origins game I haven't played, so I can't comment on it, much other than saying Mark in 100% Jordan's Juice is very cute. I'm assuming the person on the screen there is Mark, or is that the name of the plane? Flying Red Barrel, the diary of a little aviator. Flying Bear Bardar is an old school bullet hell shoot STG shoot shoot the gun. I don't know strategy. It's a bullet hell strategy game with multiple endings based on the actions you take. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I, I'm sure it's not. Uh, all right, choice of word defeats Hitler and his harem. <laughs> it's actually the plot of the original Sigurdi game. The sequel spinoff gets much sillier. Wow, acceleration of Sigurd X edition, high definition. That's very important. Look at the size of that zipper. Like, like the person that's on the right, like just that massive thing looks extremely difficult to use. In acceleration, aka Ausgzahud, the little war continues at a breakneck speed, is an enhanced version of the eagerly awaited sequel to Suguri. All right, fair enough. And there is acceleration too. Last game in the Suguri series. Good luck with the final boss. I can't beat it with most characters, so I probably wouldn't have a chance either. Acceleration of Suguri 2, Suguri Ni, is a lightning pace dual style shoot 'em up from Orange Juice, featuring all favorite characters from the Suguri universe. I, I'm sure that is a very effective byline for someone who's a bit more aware at. But it keeps going, so no wonder there's so many today. It's 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 all you. There's like like all these games here from this one series. That's kind of interesting. A bite-sized sequel to that first game I got. You smaller in scope, but harder. Fun fact, Santa in this universe just so happens to be a bunny girl. Well, I mean, you know, 
rabbits are from the moon, Santa's from the moon. Like, I get it. Like, I understand how they would make that association. Xmas shooting scramble. Help Aru save Christmas and this humoristic action-packed shooter. Set a universe of QP shooting. Right. Status undetermined. I will determine that status if you don't mind. They yeah, still keep going. A sort of Pokemon style Gaiden game. Conceptually one of the weirdest stories of any game I'm aware of. But I'm not gonna spoil why. 200% mixed juice. What are they mixing it with? 10th anniversary of Orange Juice. Alright, old school RPG. 200% mix of characters. Like, what does that mean? Like, as a sentence, that makes very little sense. This is a little bunny head. It's like a cat planet cat. Whoa, what was... It? Oh, that's you. That's that's created this fantastic graphic here. I kind of, like, jumped there. I was like, whoa, what's that? That was exciting. All right. Flubman, thank you for this massive collection of one series. I, I honestly... It is, it is. It sounds interesting, but it's also a lot. Now, cat uncoordinated ambush. Hope it's okay. Well, okay, Clay Fay. I I feel like I need to say, in case this has not been clear to like people out there, of all the games I have accepted here on Steam, a grand total of like two of them were planned. Everything else was unplanned and not coordinated. It is a free-for-all, which is why I call these ambushes, because they are unexpected and just kind of happen. You're just sitting there and say, like, oh, bop, and then there you go. All right, so well, it's okay. I always want to give back a bit, but I have a hard time with big organized events. So here I am breaking the cat theme. Good luck, have fun. Best wishes, bud in French, including the O and E stuck together. That's going, that's going like all in. The spirit and the mouse bring kindness and light to the people of saint Clair. Oh, that's how you spell it, huh? Okay. As Lila, a tiny mouse with a big heart, explore a quaint French village, make electrifying new friends, and do good deeds for those in need in the slush narrative adventure game. That is a extremely cute little mousey there. I'm dug digging like the... The lit up like tail and like the edge of the the ear, so you know there there's something spiritual going on about that animal. Like it's kind of repeated in the logo too, but like you got the non logo where like it's really highlighted. Okay, the spirit and the mouse. Okay, I don't know what that is, but it's a narrative adventure game. So yeah, like I said, just for the sake of you know trying to save my voice a little bit, I'm not gonna check these out. But I'm probably yeah, I'm gonna just check trailers on my own a little bit later. Because, you know, I, I kinda wanna see what this is about. Like I legitimately do. It is here a few words like scary. <laughs> That's it. Because Rao Cow just gets there automatically, I think, and enjoy is automatically generated. So fusion just real scary. <laughs> Cat and ghostly road. Uh, when I uh, when I was uh, so I started by reading the box art and then I slid down to reading the 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 written part underneath it because I said it's like a ghostly root. But I switched down in Red Road just in time. Cat and Ghostly Road is an atmospheric point and click quest in which you play as a white cat and you have to go on a dangerous journey in a world of ghosts and demons. Not all things are what they seem. That is a frequently put line of text, isn't it? Not all things are what they seem. It's true, though. A lot of things don't look like what they are. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Crispy. Crispy with with, with the last-ditch ambush here. That's date from yesterday. Hey there, good guy. Does someone want a reason to be one of their favorite games? Here's hoping. Yeah, Fury Onamusha. It's DLC for Fury that was released, like, like not even a month after my LP has ended. Rediscover Fury with the Onamusha Rider, a powerful fighter that alternates between two stances, fast and agile, or slower but lethal, until she's able to unleash the devastating power of the star. Okay. So rather than DLC where it's an extra fight, this looks like to be a DLC where you're a completely different character. Oh, that sounds exciting. I love Fury. Fury is probably 
my second favorite game I played this year. Uh, Outer Wild being the first and Fury being second. Thing is, I'm aware that I'm aware the LP wasn't like all that well received, and I mean I get it. A lot of it was me being pretty quiet and just playing in a very mindful way, and you know it was a little bit repetitive with the two loops, but it was still it is still one of my favorite games, like like just top ten games ever, and uh, yeah, I absolutely want to play this. Like, I kind of unpurposefully don't want to see anything about Onamusha Rider. Like, I, I, want, I want to discover that on my own. I want to discover what the DLC here, this extra mode or whatever, is on my own. So I, I am willing to wait and willing to find out when I do play it. This has already been in my bucket. It's just a matter of circumstances now, but I'm going to press accept GIF. Making it one step easier to play. Look at this. Look at this. But also, like, like half of this is one series. Part of the fully completed Orange Juice completion collection. I own all of them now. I can't do anything about that. 